The Hollander beater is the king of paper making tools. And let me show you how I use it. Let's make paper with abaca and we're going to beat this pulp. This is abaca half stuff. Uh, I get it from a paper making supplier. Uh, this particular abaca comes from the Philippines. Um, it is already processed once. It's from the trunk of the banana plant and um, is cooked and crudely beaten and made into these sheets. And so I need to weigh out two pounds. So I know this is about two pounds. Ta-da! And uh, now I'm gonna get it ready for beating. So I've soaked the two pounds of abaca overnight. I really like to soak it for at least two hours, but um, overnight is great, just in water so that it's really wet before I put it in the beater. So this is my David Reyna beater, uh, made by David Reyna in New York City. He still makes beaters today, and it's called a Hollander beater. And this is the tool that was developed in Holland in the 1600s to beat rag pulps when they were first making paper by hand in Italy and Spain and all over Europe. And uh, I need to fill it with water. This is a two pound beater. So I have the two pounds dry weight of abaca pulp that I'm gonna put in here. And I love this hose, just, it's connected to my sink and I can just turn it on to fill and then off. It's uh, rubber, so if I accidentally drop it on the ground or anywhere, it just kind of boings. And uh, so I'm gonna fill the beater with water. I've got a mark here of how high uh, I like to start for the two pounds. I'm gonna go a little higher actually. This is an art, not a science. So this is the beater roll, which will spin around when I turn the beater on. And it's got these blades. They are square blades, they're not knives, but the edges are sharp and they will grind against the bed plate, which is underneath and I can uh, raise and lower the bed plate to determine how uh, hard or soft I beat the pulp. And you'll see this in a moment, but this uh, lid comes down to keep the water from going all over the place. And this is just like an oblong donut shape. Everything will circulate around. And we are literally going to beat our fiber to a pulp. Okay, so I filled the beater with uh, about 12 to 13 gallons of water. So I always wear protective headgear when I run my beater. And um, I've got the two pounds of soap fiber. I like to just stage it here on the lid. And then I'm, I have my beater set at 40. I can raise and lower the roll. So it's at 40, it's pretty open. There's space in between when I feed the fiber in. I'm gonna turn it on. And then I just tear. It tears much easily when it's much easier when it's wet into about two inch squares. And I'm gonna feed all of this in um, quickly. Not, it's not gonna take that long. Ten minutes at the most. Okay, so I've just tossed in the last pieces, and I'm gonna run this for about three or four minutes, just so everything is homogenous. So I always like to check and see if anything is clogged. So I've got the beater turned off, unplugged, and um, I'm checking right here is a place where pulps, uh, big chunks sometimes get stuck, it's fine. And then back here as well. I just wanna make sure there are no big clumps. And then I'm ready to go. I'm gonna turn the beater back on, I'm gonna start lowering it and you'll be able to hear when it engages. So that means that the, um, the roll is hitting the bed plate and it's starting to grind. It's a gradual process, so I'm gonna listen for that sound and I'm gonna let it run for five or 10 minutes right when it makes that sound at that height. And then I'm gonna gradually lower it all the way to number one on my gauge. So I'm at 40. I'm probably gonna be able to take it down to about eight now. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the abaca pulp and I've been beating it for about an hour and a half and I noticed two shifts. So this is the first one. The pulp is a little bit more slippery than it was um, uh, for the first hour and that's because it's being refined and beaten down. So this is the finished pulp. This is uh, beaten for five hours and it's got this wonderful creamy consistency.